The Caterpillar D6R is a medium sized dozer in the Caterpillar range and it weighs just over 18 tonnes. As usual for a Tonkin Caterpillar model it comes in an outer shipping carton. And after a bit of fiddling about you can pull out the Caterpillar branded box that sits inside. Also typical for Tonkin is the addition of a collector card. It's got a photo of the open cab version of the machine and on the back there are some technical details. On we go and pull out the insides of the box and the model sitting in a one piece plastic tray. But wait there's more it's not really sitting in the tray it's actually secured to the tray by our old friend the twist tie. In fact two of them. Well we're friends like twist ties who needs enemies so let's go into turbo mode and get them undone. Once the model's set free, there's no assembly to do because this model is complete, out of the box. Starting underneath, the basic structure is modelled and the metal track pads have some good detail. The drive sprockets are also detailed, but the casting of the rollers on the track frame sit too high, so you can see a gap, but to be fair you can only see this if you get down low. The ripper assembly is all modelled in metal and there are decent sharp teeth and hydraulic hoses run to the ram that controls it. On the cab all of the grab rails are metal and there are windscreen wipers on the windows. The detail outside the cab is also quite good although the thick paint sometimes obscures it a bit. The exhaust pipe and air intake on the engine cover are plastic but there's a nice detail for the opener on the side panel. At the front the radiator grille looks good and there are hydraulic hoses running to all of the rams controlling the dozer blade. The blade itself is metal and quite nice because there are wear plates on the bottom edge. Out onto the test track and here is something different. The tracks roll even on a smooth surface. One of the reasons for that is that they do hang fairly loose on the sprockets, but that does give them a realistic profile. The tracks try to turn together and that's because the drive sprockets share a common axle. Moving on to the functions of the dozer blade at the front. It can be raised to a good height and it also does lower fully to the ground. So basically it's good because it will pose realistically. Also functioning is the tilt mechanism on the blade and that's quite reasonable too because there's a decent range of movement. If we mosey on round to the back we can inspect the ripper attachment and it does go up and down. However the range of movement is not full and it's probably a bit restricted at both the top and the bottom. That's the tour of the features so let's head over to the genuine imitation real life test. And here we're testing the effectiveness of the dozer. Let's see how it dozes and yes it's very effective. Overall this is quite a nice model of the Caterpillar D6R. It seems well made and all of the details and functionality are quite good. So if you're looking for a decent medium sized dozer, this one is highly recommended.